Welcome to this webinar, which provides insights into the development of children's physical skills. These insights take account of research, as well as inspectors findings in early learning and care settings, and the advice provided by inspectors to promote improvement. To begin with, it's worth noting that inspectors continue to promote the importance of children being active and engaging in activities that support physical health and development. This is a key focus of our work in early learning and care settings, and it is highlighted in our inspection framework. In this webinar, we will provide advice that is based on our observations in these settings. Our advice is very practical, and for the most part, it does not require you to purchase any additional materials for your child. Our advice also takes into account a wide variety of home environments. To support your child's development, all activity, no matter how short, counts. Whether it is active play at home, being engaged in everyday household tasks or going for a walk. It is important, of course, to avoid too much sedentary time, that is screen time, and most of a child's waking time should be spent physically active. Simple everyday activities, including helping out and playing, can ensure continued development of their physical skills. Physical and sensory development are important areas of children's development. Physical development includes children's physical growth and the development of their motor skills, which leads to increased ability to control the muscles of their bodies and to manipulate objects. Sensory development involves a child's learning through their sensory systems. Physical and sensory development are connected and interdependent, but also develop in an order. For the purpose of this webinar, we will focus on the development and refinement of a child's physical skills, their core strength, shoulder stability, postural control, and gross motor coordination and fine motor skills and strength. As well as this, we will also consider the importance of developing and refining the senses, sight, touch, hearing, smell, taste, spatial awareness, also known as proprioception, and a sense of balance, also known as vestibular. It is so true to say as parents, you are your child's best resource. Young children enjoy being involved in whatever their parent is doing. Inspectors frequently note that in early learning and care settings, the home area, which replicates the home environment, can be a very popular space to play. As appropriate to their age and ability, it is very beneficial to involve children in meaningful tasks of daily life. By engaging in practical tasks, children learn important skills for life. They benefit both emotionally and physically from having an important role in managing the everyday housekeeping jobs around the home. All housekeeping activities have a physical as well as a sensory component and thus are perfect in supporting holistic physical development. Taking into account the child's age and capabilities, it is recommended that parents assign jobs to an older child and encourage a younger child to assist with tasks. So, Bearing in mind the importance of ensuring your child's safety, what can your child do to help in an indoor space on a daily basis? Inspectors frequently note the practice in early learning and care settings of engaging children in practical tasks throughout the session. Depending on your child's age and ability, they might like to get involved in some of the following activities, sweeping, washing the floors, plus using the dustpan and brush, wiping down the tables and washing dishes, and watering cans indoor and outdoors. In the home environment, depending on your child's age, these practical tasks could be carried out and extended to include using the hoover, dusting, washing windows, folding and sorting, sorting laundry and putting it away. All of these activities will support the development of core strength and shoulder stability, gross motor coordination and fine motor skill development while engaging and developing several senses. In high quality early learning and care settings, inspectors know the great benefit to children of preparing for snack time. In the home environment, your child will enjoy working alongside you to prepare the meals. 
This makes them feel important and they will be praised for helping to produce a tasty meal. Preparing a meal involves some or all of the following, cutting food, weighing ingredients, mixing, stirring, kneading, pouring, laying the table and clearing up afterwards. These are all valuable self-help skills that establish, establish good habits for life, as well as developing and refining gross and fine motor skills. Baking is an exciting and rewarding activity for children. For example, baking bread, this involves carrying, weighing and measuring the ingredients. Children can feel the weight and consistency as they carefully handle and interact with a variety of baking materials. Kneading the dough develops the muscles of the arms, hands and fingers and refines muscle tone, which is needed for good pencil grip and writing skills. If baking is not an option, making clay dough at home out of flour, salt, water and oil consists of the same beneficial process. All of the mentioned activities are highly beneficial for the development and refinement of muscle tone, gross and fine motor skills. Cooking and baking, making dough also benefit the sense of touch, sight, smell and taste. Spatial awareness, proprioception, will be skilled through the handling of the ingredients with the right force. Now we will move on to consider the great benefits of play. Consider the phrase, play is the work of the child. Play, physical development and learning go hand in hand and play helps children to be strong and healthy. Parents can support children's play by ensuring that they have as much time to play as possible during the day. Through play, learning and physical development can happen naturally at home. In early learning and care settings where exemplary practice is noted, inspectors frequently observe high quality interactions between children and practitioners. Similarly at home, spending time engaging in play with your child is not only enjoyable for both of you, but also highly beneficial. The ideas which we will now present may complement what you're already doing with your child as they emphasise the links to physical and sensory development. Toddlers and young children will enjoy construction and pretend play, such as role play, going to the shop or doctors. It's all the better if you can stay and play with them for a while, letting them take the lead. For toddlers and young children, crawling games and rough and tumble play are hugely beneficial. In high quality early learning and care settings, young children enjoy singing together, acting out songs and rhymes and whole body movement games. In the home environment, you can make up similar games together. Finger games, which you can find on the internet, and sensory games are equally beneficial to physical development. Traditional games from your own childhood, such as clapping games, playing conkers, Simon Says, Ring a Ring of Roses, and ball games like hot potato, even hopscotch using mask and tape might be an option for hours of indoor exercise. Early learning and care settings promote creativity, and you can do this also in the home environment. Using recycled materials to create art promotes creativity while supporting the development of gross and fine motor skills and sensory integration. Using items from around the house, such as old fabric, different sized paper, scissors, glue, cartons, bottle tops, the list is endless. For young babies, tunnels or dens can be made from fabric and cardboard boxes to creep and crawl through or for simply hiding their treasures. You can even try to make Play-Doh out of flour, salt and a drop of oil and some water with your child. This is one of the most holistic indoor activities when it comes to motor development and sensory integration. It's similar to the bread making activity, which we have already discussed. You can keep the dough in the fridge and your child will have days of refining motor skills and muscle tone while being creative. Inspectors frequently note that opportunities for water play are a highlight for many children in early learning and care settings. So at home, you could provide your child with a bowl of water in a shower cubicle or at the kitchen sink. This provides for hours of play and sensory experiences. Your child feels the water and understands the concept of wet and temperature. He or she can splash, pour, measure and informally explore the concepts of floating and sinking. 
We will now provide practical suggestions which can be used in the immediate outside surrounding, such as a balcony, patio, small back or front garden. Some of the activities already mentioned can of course be transferred to the immediate outdoor area. You could also support your child to experiment with mark making outdoors using a paintbrush and water. This type of activity promotes big arm movement, which supports shoulder stability and gross and fine motor development. If you have some sand, earth and water, the immediate outdoor area might provide the perfect space for exploration. A few old pots and pans, wooden and metal spoons and other kitchenware can inspire this kind of play and provide a lot of physical and sensory development. Outside, children can wash and dry their own toys. Simply give your child a basin and some detergent. Consider also involving children with hanging out the washing on the clothes horse or line. They will enjoy this activity and develop their pincer grip by using clothes pegs. In early learning and care settings where exemplary practice is noted, children have opportunities to plant. You can replicate this at home if you have the space. Provide your child with some room for planting herbs, flowers or vegetables. Children relish these opportunities and in the months to come, they can care for them. Watering them and weeding will provide physical exercise and motor development. Now let us focus on practical suggestions which can be used in larger outdoor space. For example, in a big back garden or in the community green area of the state. Playground, nearby park, a woodland, meadows or by the seaside or beach. Outdoor play, in particular, by its nature, supports the development of core strength, shoulder stability, postural control, and general gross motor skill development. Inspectors frequently highlight how a child's holistic development can be greatly nurtured if they are enabled to engage in a range of experiences, including running, climbing, rolling, jumping, balancing, swinging, and carrying heavy objects, digging and working with materials such as sand, earth, and water. Also, children benefit greatly from cycling and using balance bikes, scooters and other wheelie toys. The benefits and importance of regular engagement in risk-rich play are focused on by inspectors and proven through research. Risk-rich play may include, for example, climbing a tree and swinging. These acti activities are very valuable in supporting motor development and sensory integration. And building dens and woodlands is a favourite of many children that requires a lot of physical skills and provides sense rich experiences. All of these activities offer a broad range of motor development and provide very valuable sense rich experiences. Of course, it's important that children and parents assess the challenges and risks together and take the necessary precautions required for all activities. Bearing in mind the importance of keeping your child safe. Being at sea provides endless play and exercise opportunities. Just even walking barefoot in the sand and playing with seaweed are unique tactile experiences. Playing with all the sense rich materials which can be found here will provide a myriad of true sense impressions. Informally, the child will discover that no two seashells feel the same and will learn to appreciate the beauty and bounty of nature. You could consider bringing home some seashells and other treasure for indoor play. If your child can swim, his or her whole body will benefit from spending time in water. All water sports such as swimming, paddleboarding, surfing, kayaking are of course highly beneficial. The sense of balance is extremely well developed through paddleboarding and surfing. Childhood is a precious time and parents are afforded just a few years in which to support their child's physical development and sensory awareness. It is important that we enjoy this time together. We encourage you as parents to devote some time to your child to engage in exciting, memorable activities. Where possible, pick up on the types of physical activity that your child is engaging in, in the early learning and care setting or the primary school. For example, if your child is skipping or gardening, you can provide similar experiences at home. Inspectors frequently highlight the benefit of promoting continuity experiences 
To this end, it is beneficial to provide feedback to your child's setting or primary school about the activities undertaken at home. Your child could draw a picture or take a photograph to share with their practitioner or teacher. We hope that this webinar provides parents some reassurance that engaging in simple everyday activities can be of great benefit to children's continued development of their physical skills. We have provided some additional references and resources which may be of interest to you. You can access the links under the video title. If you have any comments, please share it using the dedicated email on screen, insights underscore info at education.gov.ie. We thank you very much for your engagement. Mm -hmm.